today, Crafty Chums, Nikki here, aka Custom Ticket, aka Custom Ticket's Life, and I thought I'd do a bit of a pour today. I've got some leftover paints, so what good enough reason to do a pour? Don't need any more reason than that, do you? So, um, yeah, so I've got some paint here left over, a bit of dried up gunk, and that, so we'll see. I don't know how much of a pour it will be, but we'll give it a go. That's my stomach, by the way, not the paint. So uh, I've got to um, give it a stir and get things working there again. So I'll be doing that. And then when I've done that, I'll be back. So I do have the camera at a bit, a bit of a different angle today. Um, but uh, I think it'll be okay. What I'm going to do first is put some colours into a cup. See how we, oh, that might be a little bit thick. <laughs> Even though I've added some more, a little bit of water to this to uh, thin them up, it still might be a little bit thick. But we'll see. Of course this is a little canvas so I don't need too much to make a pour. There might be some lumps in the paint, we'll see could be picking out the lumps from the paint for a, a while. <laughs> mm. I've got some gold here and I think the gold will just go straight to the bottom but mm, we'll see because it is quite heavy I think. not to get too covered because I'm off to work today so that'll be plenty in there and this colour here I'm going to put over it as a base it's kind of a so we'll pop this one on this might be too much I expect it'll be too much As I say, this paint has been resting quite a while. It's been a while since I've done a, a pour. I'm hoping that's just bubbles. <laughs> bubbles. Let's see if we can get this out to the edges. We can make lots of mess. We'll see what happens. Sometimes I get the paint too thick, sometimes I get the paint too thin. But we'll see what goes on, shall we? This may be uh, just mud. Or it may be nice, we don't know. Be just grey for I know. There we go. Mm, surely. It's interesting. It's interesting what he's doing. <laughs> I 
Okay. I don't know. I quite like that. See how big those the cells are there. Yeah, and those are big cells. Just see if there's any air bubbles or anything in there because that paint's been standing around. I'd have to give it a stir. I think it's going to be a little bit thick, the paint, so. So I don't know whether to pull some off. Should we pull some off? Which way should we go? That way. And pour it off onto something. Some paper, book paper. Doing this because I just want some thinner paint on there. I think it is a little bit too um, thick. interesting now isn't it? <laughs> thought it was interesting before but it's still interesting. Two weeks time I'm going to see a, a friend in Dunedin and uh, she wants me to show her um, paint pouring so uh, we'll see. Just see I lost her, uh, there's no more cells coming up. quite like that actually. Okay, I like that. I'll have to go around and uh, put some paint on the outside there I think just to make it a uh, more all over painting. Paint wall. So let's see. Use the colour I used on the outside, so we'll get that on there. Think about using this uh, little microwave turntable as a lazy Susan is that um, I can turn this. Without disturbing things too much, which is good. Just fix up the sides a little bit.
going to call this one done basically up. I can do a little bit more touching up on the sides of course when it's dried. So I say I actually quite like that, it's quite nice. So it's good. There we go. Quite like that one, that's quite nice. Got to stop saying that, haven't I? <laughs> anyway, someone was asking me the other day about um, some pores that I did a little while ago. So um, I'm going to dry now. So I'm going to show those. Should we just script this on here a bit? I use this uh, book paper to make bookmarks, which may be a little bit a thing of the past, but in themselves you can make them into a nice little work of art. It's a keepsake anyway, so I always like the fancy idea of um, bookmarks made from book paper. <laughs> Let's see if this will uh, do anything here. Might be because I'm almost out of gas actually. Never mind. See if I can turn this off one handed without setting the place on fire. There you go. <laughs> okay, so I'll show you the um what I'll do is I'll just show you the ones that I have dried that people are asking about. So this was a uh, three cup negative space pour, I think it was. It's quite a interesting <laughs> negative space dragon flip or whatever it was. Three cup pour. Interesting. I don't know. Still living with that one. And then this was my little uh, um, flame burst one pour I did that turned into flames. So. Uh, could be an underwater one, I don't know. There's lots of nice bits of gold and that in there. That way or that way. Haven't decided. Could be a volcanic eruption or something. But anyway, there's that one there. People are asking about it. I haven't varnished them or anything yet. Because uh, I don't have any varnish at the moment. So we'll see. So yeah, I quite like that. You know, you, you get the metallic of the gold and the silver and... And the yellow looks quite good on there. Yeah, quite nice. Quite nice. So there were those two dry. And uh, I think this one is going to be a nice one too. Whichever way up it goes. <laughs> yeah, I quite like it actually. I'm not going to do anything with it. No, I'm not going to toot with it, I'm going to let it dry and see what it turns out like. Anyway, so thanks for joining me and um, don't forget, <laughs> thanks for joining me and see you again soon. Bye.